So we're three races into the championship and so far we have been spoil rotten with action and drama. A showdown in Saudi, mayhem in Marrakesh and a sweltering spectacle in Santiago. And now we're here to do it all again in Mexico City in one of the most atmospheric circuits in motorsport. This is not one you're going to want to miss. So let's take a look at what to look out for. So first up, if the previous races are anything to go by, Mexico is anyone's for the taking. Three races, three different winners, three different teams. Welcome back to the most unpredictable motorsport on the planet. And there's more in store where that came from this weekend. Crashes, spins, saves, slides, overtakes. Expect to see plenty of spice spilling out onto the track here in Mexico City. This weekend's race takes place in the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, a fan favourite in Formula E, and it's not hard to see why. Nowhere else on the Formula E calendar can fans watch the action take place from the stadium-like Forosol. And this season, to make it even better, the attack mode activation zone is placed slap bang in the middle of it, right in front of the passionate, motorsport-mad Mexican fans. So onto the drivers, out of all of the former Formula E champions, only jean eric Verne has made it to a podium so far, showing just how competitive and unpredictable this season is. Diaz de Chizo will be looking at this weekend to score some well-needed points after scoring none in Santiago, the first race that Jev hasn't scored points in since the 2016-17 season. After a disappointing start in Saudi, Sandbird and Envision Virgin Racing have bounced back with two podiums, including a win in Santiago, putting Sam to the top of the standings. Yes, boys! Come on! Yes, boys! Sandbird has always looked like a strong contender, but is yet to win a Formula E championship. The Audi powertrain is performing well for the customer team of Envision Virgin Racing, so a win here in Mexico could go a long way to stamp Bird's claim on his first Formula E championship. Could this be his year? This season's rookies are learning just how hard it is to compete in Formula E. However, Pascal Verlein showed that he means business by finishing second in Santiago after an impressive drive. Wow, great race, mate. See you on the podium. The rookie has looked rapid in qualifying, and now with a podium under his belt, expect Pascal to be going for more of the same here this weekend. So that's what we're going to be looking out for, but what do you think? Who do you think will get the win here in Mexico? Will Sandberg get himself closer to his first Formula E championship? Will Diaz de Chita get the points they need this weekend? And who is going to master the use of attack mode in Forest Soul? Let us know in the comments.